Boys II Men, also known as B2M, is an American vocal harmony group from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, best known for emotional ballads and a cappella harmonies. They are currently a trio composed of baritone Nathan Morris alongside tenors Wanya Morris and Sean Stockman. During the 1990s, Boys II Men found fame on Motown Records as a quartet including bass Michael McCary, who left the group in 2003 due to back spasms that were eventually diagnosed as multiple sclerosis. During the 1990s, Boys II Men gained international success. This began with the release of top five singles, Motown Philly, and It's So Hard to Say Goodbye to Yesterday in 1991, followed by the number one single, End of the Road, in 1992, which reached the top of charts worldwide. End of the Road set a new record for longevity, staying at number one on the Billboard Hot 100 for 13 weeks. Boys II Men proceeded to break this record with the subsequent releases of I'll Make Love to You and One Sweet Day, which, at 14 and 16 weeks, respectively, each set new records for the total number of weeks at number one. I'll Make Love to You, also topped the charts in Australia and garnered international success. Consequently, Boys Two Men is among the music industry's elite with regard to time spent at number one in Billboard history with 50 cumulative weeks, ranking sixth behind Drake, The Beatles, Rihanna, Elvis Presley and Carey. Furthermore, when On Bended Knee took the number one spot away from I'll Make Love to You, Boys Two Men became only the third artists ever to replace themselves at the top of the Billboard Hot 100. These achievements were enough to earn Boys Two Men recognition as Billboard magazine's biggest boy band during the period of 1987 to 2012. Boys Two Men has received four Grammy Awards. Boys Two Men continue to perform worldwide as a trio. Their most recent studio album, Under the Streetlight, was released in 2017. In June 2017, a section of Broad Street in Philadelphia was renamed Boys Two Men Boulevard. This section of the street is near the high school for the creative and performing arts, where the members once attended. History 1985 to 1990, Beginnings the group, originally known as Unique Attraction, was started by friends Nathan Morris and Mark Nelson at the Philadelphia High School for the Creative and Performing Arts along with fellow schoolmates George Baldy, John Schotes, and Marguerite Walker in 1985. In 1987, Wanya Morris, who sang in the school's choir along with the members of Unique Attraction, joined the group and became a permanent member when he was only a freshman. In 1988 Baldy, Schotes, and Walker all left the group due to graduation. They then recruited Sean Stockman after seeing him perform a solo in the school's choir. One day, Nate, Mark, Wanya and Sean were practicing harmonies in a school bathroom and in walked Michael McCary who started singing along with the group and eventually became the group's new bass singer. Now with a permanent lineup of members, the group rehearsed in the high school's bathrooms, due to the excellent acoustics, and on the corners of their schools and local hangouts. They found inspiration in New Edition's harmonies and routines, and eventually renamed the group Boys Two Men after one of New Edition's songs, Boys to Men, from their 1988 album Heartbreak. After performing at a Valentine's Day party at school in 1989 they got their big break when they snuck into a concert put on by local radio station Power 99 at the Philadelphia Civic Center. Their plan was to find Will Smith backstage and perform for him. But while looking for Smith, they happened to cross paths with new edition member Michael Bivens, who along with fellow groupmates Ricky Bell and Ronnie DeVoe just announced they were forming a new edition spin-off trio Bell Biv DeVoe. After they sang New Edition's Can You Stand the Rain, for him, Bivens and everyone in attendance including other celebrities were impressed. He then gave the group his number and told him to give him a call. Nate eventually called him, and he agreed to manage and help produce the group. The delay before recording their own material and reported personality conflicts led founding member Mark Nelson to leave the group, making boys two men into the quartet that found international fame, Michael McCary, Nathan Morris, Wanya Morris, and Sean Stockman. 1991-1992 Cooley High Harmony and End of the Road, Boys Two Men's first album, Cooley High Harmony, was released on Motown in 1991 and was produced by Michael Bivens. Cooley High Harmony's drum-heavy new jack swing sound and multi-layered sampled backdrops were similar to that of Belle Biv DeVoe's own work, but featured classic soul-styled vocals in place of BBD's rapping and brassier singing. This style was dubbed hip-hop doo-wop by the group and Bivens, who presented Boys Two Men and Adolescent R&B group Another Bad Creation to the public as BBD's protégés. From the beginning, Boys Two Men featured all four members as leads, avoiding the usual R&B group arrangement of one or two lead singers and a team of background singers. The multiple lead arrangement became a Boys Two Men trademark, and it became typical to hear Wanya Morris's vibrato heavy tenor, Sean Stockman's tenor voice, Nathan Morris's baritone, and Michael McCary's bass trading bars in each song. The album's liner notes identified unique nicknames for each member of the group. These nicknames were devised in collaboration with Bivens in an attempt at marketing. Wanya was Squirt, Sean was Slim, Michael was simply Bass, and Nathan assumed the name Alex Vanderpool after a soap opera character who brandished a nerdy style. Boys Two Men's first single, The Dallas Austin produced Motown Philly, featured a rap cameo by Michael Bivens that gives the story of how he met Boys Two Men. 
The single's release was accompanied with a music video that presented the group in hip-hop style. Kulihai Harmony's second single was an a cappella cover of a classic Motown tune, G.C. Cameron's, It's So Hard to Say Goodbye to Yesterday, from the 1975 film Cooley High, while R.R. served as the third single. Cooley High Harmony achieved major success, eventually selling over 9 million copies and winning the Grammy Award for Best R&B Performance by a duo or group with vocals at the 1992 Grammy Awards. Boys Two Men were also nominated for Best New Artist, along with British singer-songwriter Seal, fellow R&B group Color Me Bad, as well as dance group C Plus C Music Factory, but the Grammy was awarded to singer-songwriter Mark Cohn. Motown Philly, and, It's So Hard to Say Goodbye to Yesterday, were number one R&B hits and top five US pop hits. In 1992, Boys Two Men joined MC Hammer's High Profile 2 Legit 2 Quit Tour as an opening act. While traveling the country, their tour manager Khalil Roundtree was murdered in Chicago, and the group's future performances of It's So Hard to Say Goodbye to Yesterday were dedicated to him. As a result of this unfortunate experience, the song helped advance their success. While touring during 1992, Boys Two Men returned briefly to the studio to record the single End of the Road, co-written and produced by Kenneth, Babyface, Edmonds, for the soundtrack to Eddie Murphy's film Boomerang. This song, released as a single on June 30, 1992, became Boys Two Men's biggest hit. It reached the number one position on the Billboard Hot 100 on August 15, remaining there for a record-setting 13 weeks, until November 14, 1992. The success of End of the Road instantly transformed Boys Two Men from up-and-coming R&B stars into mainstream music celebrities. A revamped Cooley High Harmony was reissued during 1993, with End of the Road added as a special bonus track, but End of the Road initially appeared only on the Boomerang soundtrack. Later the track was included on a collection of singles produced by Michael Bivens called East Coast Family, Volume 1. Shortly after the release of this compilation, Boys Two Men and Michael Bivens parted ways professionally. Boys Two Men continued to work with Babyface and other high-profile record producers over the next several years. 1994, to and I'll Make Love to You, after releasing a Christmas compilation, Christmas Interpretations in 1993, Boys Two Men returned to the studio for their highly anticipated sophomore effort. In 1994, Two was released. Two sold more than 12 million copies in the United States alone, becoming one of the best-selling albums ever released by an R&B group act, and one of the biggest albums of the decade. Two later won two awards at the 1995 Grammy Awards including Best R&B Album. Most of the tracks on Two were written and produced by Tim and Bob, Tim Kelly and Bob Robinson, Babyface and the successful team of Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis. Several of I.I.'s tracks became major singles, among them Jam and Lewis's On Bended Knee, and Babyface's I'll Make Love to You, and Water Runs Dry. I'll Make Love to You, broke End of the Road's 13-week record at number one, by spending 14 weeks at the top of the chart. On Bended Knee, replaced I'll Make Love to You, at number one, making Boys Two Men only the third act ever to replace itself at number one on the Billboard Hot 100 chart, after Elvis Presley and the Beatles. In 1995, the group appeared as backing vocalists on History, from Michael Jackson's Grammy-nominated ninth album of the same name. 1997-1998, Evolution and Label Conflicts Motown issued the remix collection, a compilation of remixes of various Boys Two Men songs from Cooley High Harmony and Two. The group itself had opposed the release of the collection because they felt the compilation did not represent Boys Two Men's best work. After the label released the album without their permission, there was a dispute between the company and the group. Boys Two Men initiated their own recording company Stone Creek, and they arranged for Stone Creek's distribution by Epic Records, not Motown. Boys Two Men's third studio album, Evolution, was released during 1997 to mixed reviews and sold 3 million copies, far below the stratospheric success of I.I.'s and Cooley High Harmony. Only one of Evolution's singles, The Jam, Lewis penned Four Seasons of Loneliness, reached number one on the Hot 100 chart. The second single, The Babyface Helmed, a song for Mama, was a top 10 success, but the follow-up Can't Let Her Go, underperformed. The global tour began in 1997 to promote Evolution was successful in terms of ticket sales, but behind the scenes, Boys Two Men was racked by conflicts with their record label and internal conflicts among the members of the group. Making matters worse, health problems began to take their toll on the group. While on tour to support the Evolution album, Wanya Morris developed a polyp on his vocal cords, and the group was forced to postpone part of the tour until he recovered. McCary's multiple sclerosis meant that he was unable to participate in most of the group's dance routines. Boys Two Men were nominated for two Grammys in 1998, Best R&B Album for Evolution and Best R&B Vocal Performance by a duo or group for A Song for Mama. 1999-2001, Nathan Michael Sean Wanya in 1999, Motown's parent company, Polygram, was bought by Universal Music Group. Amidst the major corporate restructure, Motown was merged with UMG's Universal Records, where Boys Two Men found themselves reassigned. Their only studio LP album for Universal, 2000's Nathan Michael Sean Wanya, 
was chiefly written and produced by the group itself, in an attempt to update their sound and ward off critics who questioned the group's reliance on Babyface's hit-making songcraft. While the critics were more receptive to Nathan Michael Sean Wanya than they had been to its predecessor, the LP sold only 500,000 copies in the US, 1 million copies worldwide, and although its two singles, Pass You By, and Thank You In Advance received media attention, neither became hits. Boy's two men departed from Universal in 2001, ending their relationship with the company that brought him to international stardom in 1991. The label released a very successful Greatest Hits compilation, Legacy, the Greatest Hits Collection, to close out the contract. 2002-2003, Full Circle and The Color of Love, signing a new deal with Arista Records in 2002, Boy's two men began recording the Full Circle album, and recruited Babyface for a new single, The Color of Love. In an attempt to recapture the massive success the group had enjoyed a decade earlier, the album received a significant promotional budget. Arista commissioned a high-budget music video, shot in four different locales by four different directors, supervising director Little X film scenes featuring Michael McCary in India, Hype Williams filmed Sean Stockman in Tokyo, Benny Boom filmed Nathan Morris in Ghana, and Chris Robinson filmed Wanya Morris in Puerto Rico and finally all were filmed in New York. The resulting music video had a debut on Bet, but failed to have a great effect, and Full Circle, like Nathan Michael Sean Wanya before it, sold slightly more than 500,000 copies in the US and 1 million copies worldwide. Full Circle became Boy's Two Men's final album as a quartet, and their last effort to receive extensive promotion from a major record company. On January 30, 2003, Michael McCary left Boy's Two Men due to chronic back problems resulting from multiple sclerosis and personal problems. Arista terminated Boy's Two Men's contract on April 30, and the remaining three members took a temporary hiatus from the music industry. 2004-2006, Throwback, Volume 1 and The Remedy After a Year Out of the Spotlight, Boy's Two Men created the independent label MSM Music Group, and released the Throwback, Volume 1 LP in 2004. The album is a collection of covers of classic R&B and soul songs such as the Daz Band's Let It Whip, Michael Jackson's Human Nature, and, as the single, Bobby Caldwell's What You Won't Do For Love. For this record, Nathan took on the bass lines as well as the baritone vocals that he sang when Boy's Two Men was a quartet. Throwback, Volume 1 reached number 59 on the Billboard 200. The group launched an independent tour of North America and Asia in support of the Throwback series. The album sold over 200,000 copies with little to no promotion aside from the group's independent tour. In 2005 Boy's Two Men recorded a CD with Anderson Camo called, Apocalypse, a project meant to benefit Haiti. In 2006, Boy's Two Men's seventh studio album, The Remedy, was released exclusively in Japan, where they found a thriving fanbase. In other regions, The Remedy was made available online through the group's website on February 14, 2007. 2007-2008, Hitsville USA in mid-2007, the group resigned with Universal Records and released the LP Motown, a journey through Hitsville USA through the Decca Records label. The LP is a cover album featuring songs from the Motown Records catalog, co-produced by Randy Jackson of American Idol fame. The Motown album includes covers of songs by The Temptations, Marvin Gaye, Smokey Robinson and The Miracles, and even Boys Two Men themselves. Commercially, Motown found some success. It peaked at number 6 on the US R&B chart and was certified gold in the UK. The album was also a critical success. For the 51st Annual Grammy Awards in 2009, Boys Two Men received two nominations for the album Motown, A Journey Through Hitsville, USA. In 2008, Boys Two Men's three members appeared on Celebrity Don't Forget the Lyrics and created a sensation with their performance. They earned $500,000 for their two nominated charities. The appearance also generated interest in their next release. 2009, Love in 2009, Boys Two Men announced plans for a new cover album, that covers artists I don't think people would expect us to cover. According to Sean Stockman, entitled Love, the album was released on November 23, 2009. The album contains remakes of love songs from outside the R&B genre. 2011-2012, Love Cruise and 20 Boys Two Men headlined a Love Cruise in honor of the 20th anniversary and in observance of Valentine's Day. The cruise took place February 11-14, 2011, and traveled from Miami, Florida, to Nassau, Bahamas. Cruise passengers received a Boys Two Men welcome cocktail party, a concert performance by Boys Two Men, an additional fan appreciation concert by Boys Two Men, a photo session with Boys Two Men, a formal prom night, a poker tournament, a deck party with Boys Two Men and a guest DJ, a singles mixer, a gift bag, and onboard drawings for other Boys Two Men events. Couples were able to renew their wedding vows in a special ceremony with Boys Two Men. 20, named in recognition of Boys Two Men's 20 years in the music business, is a double CD album with 13 original songs and 8 re-recorded Boys Two Men classics. It was released on October 25, 2011.
20 is the group's fourth release through MSM Music Group. It was released in Japan 13 days before its official US release date with the help of Avex Group, the biggest Japanese independent record label. Originally, Boys 2 Men announced a reunion with original member Michael McCary for the 20 album. On September 6, 2009, at a concert in Virginia Beach, Virginia, Stockman announced that their upcoming 20th anniversary album would include all four members, sparking a tremendous applause. But soon after that announcement, McCary declined and did not join the project. As a trio, Boys Two Men performed as special guests on VH1's highly rated VH1 Divas Celebrate Soul concert. Boys Two Men contributed a cover of Japanese rock band Lark Tilda and Tilda Seal song, Snowdrop, to their 2012 tribute album. 2013 present, the package tour, Collide, and Geico commercials on January 22, 2013, the group appeared on The View along with New Kids on the Block and 98 Degrees to announce their joint tour that took place in summer 2013. As of February 20, 2013, Boys Two Men announced that beginning March 1, 2013, they will stop touring and begin performing shows at the Mirage Hotel and Casino in Las Vegas. On January 13, 2014, the trio appeared at the end of an episode of How I Met Your Mother titled, Slaps Giving Three, Slap Ointment in Slapmara, performing an a cappella version of the show's song, You Just Got Slapped. Their 11th album, titled Collide, was released on October 21, 2014. In 2016, the trio appeared in Greece, live as the Teen Angels and sang Beauty School Dropout. One year placed fourth for the 22nd season of the ABC Realty Competition series Dancing with the Stars. They also did music for an animated adaptation of The Snowy Day. In 2017, the group began starring in television commercials for Geico Auto Insurance. On June 24, 2017, a section of Broad Street in Philadelphia, from Christian to Carpenter Streets, was renamed, Boys Two Men Boulevard, by the City Council. Philadelphia High School for the Creative and Performing Arts, where the members of Boys Two Men were once students, is on this section of Broad Street. In August 2017, it was announced they were releasing a new album titled Under the Streetlight in the Fall. It was released on October 20, 2017. On January 4, 2018, the group was featured in a new track released by Charlie Puth, titled, If You Leave Me Now, created for Charlie Puth's album Voice Notes. On September 6, 2018, the group performed at the NFL 2018-2019 season kickoff at Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. On October 2, 2018, the group performed Ladies' Man on ABC's Dancing with the Stars. Demarcus Ware and Lindsay Arnold danced a quick step to the song. The group is featured on a reimagined version of Take That Song Love Ain't Here Anymore from their number one selling album Odyssey. Howard Donald revealed during an interview with Magic Radio that he fulfilled a dream when they recorded this song. On December 15, 2018, the group staged a concert at the Smart Araneta Coliseum with Filipino girl group Divas, a group composed of Kyla, Yen Constantino, KZ Tandingan and Angeline Quinto titled Boys Two Men with Divas. On September 18, 2019, it was reported that the group would play themselves on the ABC comedy series Schooled. On September 30, 2019, Boys Two Men announced their Asia tour, which is slated to take place after returning from their US tour and residency in Las Vegas. They will be visiting cities such as Kuala Lumpur, Bangkok, Singapore and Manila. Style and Influence Boys Two Men is among the biggest names in a cappella and R&B. With what was called crossover appeal, Boys Two Men found themselves at the vanguard of the 1990s movement to take R&B back into the mainstream, where it had been back in the 1970s. The use of hip-hop beats in combination with R&B was not unique, but it was Boys Two Men's enormous success with mainstream audiences in putting harmony over the hip-hop tracks that helped usher in the near-total dominance of the R&B genre on the pop charts in the 2000s and 2010s. On January 5, 2012, Boys Two Men were awarded a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. They were featured on the first episode of the 2021 Netflix series This Is Pop, called The Boys Two Men Effect, about their impact on the boy band scene in the 1990s.